Another uh, very simple usability tip we can use is to not only consistently do this, but also the way you do this, how we handle links that are internal to SharePoint, otherwise other pages and systems inside there, and links that go off to other systems, because commonly we tend to put links that maybe go to our public website, go to different resources that we have access to, maybe other you know enterprise systems that are there. And a lot of times it's very important about the consistency. And it really doesn't come down to what you do is much as it's important of having some kind of consistency. So overall the rule of thumb that we like to follow with clients is internal links. You have them go inside the page that you're on right now. So if I click on some type of internal link, I stay in the same page as I was before. And external links, you're actually going to open up a new page and actually go there instead. And so that can be a very good rule of thumb as you can see kind of in this bad implementation. We're actually doing external pages in there in the page itself and then we're actually doing internal links going to a new page in this case since I have Internet Explorer 9 it's going to a new tab but overall that consistency provides that when you're navigating inside a site you want to be moving through nothing's more frustrating than having pages inside a site open up into new windows the same as nothing can be more confusing when all of a sudden you jump to an entirely new site it looks completely different yet it seems like you were navigating along the path of the site you were on.